every Christian I've ever met claims they believe in the sovereignty of God. But in reality, my contention is that many of them may not believe what they think they believe. Many of them believe uh, more of a duality of God, almost like the Hindu story of uh, how creation came about with two different gods, one God good, one God evil. And ever since creation and throughout time, they've been vying for, for sovereignty, for power over how things are going to run. We as Christians biblically believe sovereignty means something very different than that, that there is only one sovereign. The sovereign is a, a more of an ancient word from a time when there were lords and kings. There's only one sovereign king, and that's our king, Christ Jesus, our Lord God. He alone is sovereign. In other words, he's not partly sovereign, and the devil's partly sovereign, and they're fighting with each other to see who has control over how things go on the world and in our life, in my life, your life, your family's life, your finances, your job. God is sovereign over it. Satan is not. Satan certainly can do things, but God has all rule and right. Sometimes we think, uh, secondly, not only Satan, but we're sovereign. God chooses some things, but we choose some things. God has rule over some things, but we have rule over things. If we believe that God is sovereign, it believe, we believe then that he has rule and reign over all things that he has created, all things in all of existence. That is who God is. And if you're going to call him sovereign, then truly believe it, truly live it, truly go all out for it.